Today we are going to discuss the working of floating drum by Gaspard. First let me show you what we are going to cover in this video. We are going to look into these questions besides seeing the working of biogas plant. How much pressure is in floating drum biogas plant? What causes this pressure? Why it is called constant pressure biogas plant? How much should be drum weight? How to calculate size of digester? Let us start with the 3D model of floating drum biogas plant. You can see the top view here. This is an inlet tank used for slurry input. Slurry is a mixture of kettle dung and water in 1 is to 1 ratio. Also visible here is the outlet tank from where slurry comes out after completing retention time. The retention time is the average length of time that a substance stays in a reactor or digester. For better understanding of retention time, please watch the video on retention time. The link for that is given in the top right side. We can also spot gas holder along with guide pipe. The gas holder stores the gas and floats up and down on this central guide pipe. It can be rotated to break the scum formed on the surface of the slurry in the digester. Scum is a layer of light material which floats on the top of slurry and prevents biogas from moving up. Now we will remove parts of this biogas plant one by one to see the parts hidden in this model. Let us remove the inlet tank and outlet tank. Note here that the level of inlet tank is higher than that of outlet. This is done so that slurry can move out through the outlet tank only. Let us now remove the inlet and outlet tank. This will reveal the inlet and outlet pipes. These pipes are used for movement of slurry into and out of the digester. The digester is not yet visible. We need to get rid of these top and front soil layers to uncover the remaining parts of biogas. We can visualize digester as well as foundation also. Let us explore the gas holder drum by separating it from biogas plant. You can see the space for guide pipe, gas outlet pipe. Let's turn the drum upside down. You can notice the space for guide pipe inside the drum also. Also compare the model with the actual photograph of the drum. We can now see the rest of the parts. There are two walls at the top. The outer wall is part of cylindrical digester. We can spot the inner wall which is built on the ledge so that drum can rest when there is no gas. Ledge can be visualized as a shelf where you can keep things. Now we can remove the top outer wall and inner wall. This will expose the guide frame made of angle iron which supports the guide pipe. It guides pre up and down movement of gas holder while keeping it in vertical position. You can also see ledge here. Guide frame can be built outside of the digester as shown here to prevent the angle iron from rust. Now let us clear the guide pipe, guide frame and ledge. You can then notice the lower part of digester and a partition wall. The partition wall makes sure that slurry stays inside the digester for stipulated retention time. It is made to prevent short circuiting. More about short circuiting is explained in the retention time video mentioned earlier. Use of partition wall is done for biogas plants of size 4 cubic meter and above. Clearing digester and pipes, we can catch sight of foundation on which entire plant rests. Let us put it all back. Before we start seeing the working of biogas plant in action, let's study 2D diagram also. This diagram is from Indian Standard Code 9478 which gives the details about family size biogas plant. The diagram given here is for a floating drum biogas plant for a size 4 cubic meters and above. Let us focus on, on this color diagram which is similar to 
this IS code diagram. The top one is the diagram of section of biogas plant where the bottom one is that of plant. Section here means if you cut the biogas plant along this plane and plan means top view. We can comprehend all the parts in this diagram and I hope you can visualize partition wall, guide frame in the section of biogas plant. You can also see outer wall and inner wall at the top of digester in the plant. The floating drum biogas plant was designed by Khadi and Village Industry Commission in 1962 and is popularly known as KVIC by guest plant. We are now ready to see the working of floating drum by guest plant in action. A large amount of slurry is needed to start a by guest plant. For example, a 6 cubic meter plant having 40 days retention time period will need around 12,000 liters of slurry. This concept has been explained in the earlier video titled Working of Fixed Dome Biogas Plant. You can see that video in the link given in the top right hand corner. Put slurry into the inlet tank. The slurry will move to the digester through the inlet pipe. Watch what happens in the digester. The slurry will be first added to part of digester which is on inlet side of the partition wall. It will then move up and reach the top of partition wall. It will then fill the other part of the digester. In the absence of oxygen, anaerobic digestion starts. After stabilization of anaerobic digestion process, biogas will be produced. It will lift the gas holder up. If we add more slurry, then we can see that equivalent amount of slurry will move out through the outlet tank. The amount of slurry added daily will be equal to the daily requirement of biogas plant. For example, 300 liters of slurry is required for a 6 cubic meter biogas plant. All the slurry which will be added daily in the digester will follow the same path as shown earlier. If there is no partition wall, the slurry from inlet pipe can directly move to the outlet pipe without undergoing anaerobic digestion. When the gas is used for cooking or for some other purpose, the gas holder will move down. Let us discuss some of the questions which may arise in your mind. The first question which was asked in the comment of earlier video was, how do you calculate the size of the digester? The size of digester of a biogas plant can be found out from the size of biogas plant. It also depends upon retention time which in turn depend upon temperature of the region in which biogas plant is installed. For a 6 cubic meter kettle dung based biogas plant having retention time of 40 days the size of digester will be 12 cubic meters. The second question which can arise is how much pressure of biogas is in floating drum biogas plant. The pressure of biogas is 10 centimeters of water column in floating drum biogas plant. It is easy to visualize pressure in terms of water column. You may have remembered this diagram from a pressure video. If you have not watched the pressure video, you can watch from the link given above. In Deen Bandhu biogas plant, we have discussed that the pressure varies from 0 to 90 cm of water column. Deen Bandhu biogas plant is a variable pressure biogas plant, while the KVIC biogas plant is called constant pressure biogas plant. Why it is called a constant pressure biogas plant? We will discuss this little later. First, we should know what causes pressure in floating drum biogas plant. The pressure in floating drum biogas plant is because of drum weight. It is weight of drum which exerts downward force which creates pressure. We can use this fact to calculate the drum weight. We know pressure is force per unit area. Force here is weight of the drum. So weight is equal to pressure into area. We know the pressure that is 10 centimeter. Which area is required here? 
the area on which gas exert pressure is the top face of the drum which is shown yellow in color now let us come to the question why it is called constant pressure biogas plant we have seen the working of this plant the drum moves up and down since weight of the drum is constant so pressure will be constant because weight of the drum is the cause of pressure in the biogas plant and that is not changing so now the last question which we are going to discuss is why 10 cm of water column pressure why not 20 30 or 5 cm for this we need to refer to indian standard code is 8749 which gives us biogas stove specifications it is mentioned in this code that the inlet pressure equivalent to 7.62 cm of water column is needed for biogas stove so that is why we need only 10 cm of water column pressure which takes care of the pressure drop in the pipe and ensure minimum pressure at inlet for the biogas stove let me leave you with what we have done in this video